at uh, Clemson University. We're very excited. Um, kind of go over some of the kids. We've got about eight or ten athletes that are looking really, really good this week. And the top of the one, if you've been reading on, on Jack's webpage and all, is uh, Carrie Sims. Carrie Sims is the defending Big South Indoor 60-meter hurdle champion. Carrie Sims also has the top time of the conference this year. And if Kerry wins the hurdles this weekend, it will be the sixth straight time that a Winthrop athlete has won the 60-meter indoor hurdle. So we've kind of dominated that event. We're really, really proud about that. Uh, Kerry this week ran a time that now ranks in the top 50 in the U.S., uh, running really well at the right time. We've got a number of other guys that are running real well. Uh, junior Adam LaRue from uh, Nova Scotia, Canada. Adam is ranked second in the conference at 800 meters. If anybody's been following cross country, Adam Frudenthal, who was all conference, I think he was fourth in the cross country meet, uh, is ranked fourth in the uh, 3,000 and fourth, third in the 5,000. Anybody that follows Big South Sports knows, I was going to give you a little tidbit about this, our conference has been ranked out of the 31 major Division I conferences at the RPI for track and field that comes out, it came out today. We have been ranked seventh, eighth, or ninth. So our conference is really, really loaded. We have one athlete that's led the conference in all the distance events or led the nation. So with Sam Chalinga, who's a five-time national champion. So anytime you can run against that level of competition, I think it lifts, you know, rising tide raises every ship. So that's, that, that's a big thing for us. Um, so as I mentioned, Kerry Sims, Adam LaRue, Devin Gist, who's ranked fourth in the weight throw, but only about six inches out of the... Uh, Top three. Top three makes all conference. So that's kind of the goal that we're trying to get. As many all conference performers as possible, as many conference champions as possible. As soon as we finish that up, we get a weekend break and then we go next week to uh, outdoor. We open up in Jacksonville, Florida next week at UNF. We go straight to about 10 or 12 straight weeks of outdoor meets. So really not much of a break coming up. But we do want your support. I know it's going to be simulcast, Jack. The whole track track will be simulcast on BigSouthSports.com. On Thursday and Friday, definitely catch a lot of people. I know Kelvin's going down to hopefully catch that hurdle finals and bring home that hurdle title once again. Any questions? Anybody got any questions? Thank you. Oh, we got a home meet on March 24th, 25th, 26th, and April 9th. We just filled the spots to give you an idea of our April 9th meet, or April, excuse me, Friday night, April 8th. If you can't make the three day meet, those that came last year, we have a two and a half hour scored track meet, the quickest track meet you'll ever see. At this point, we're having a score meet against Liberty, who will probably be the conference champions, Radford, Gardner Webb, and Savannah State. And that's on April 8th. Definitely want everybody out for that. What a great way to spend a Friday night. Thanks, guys.